Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you my favorite autumnal fall crochet pieces that I will so definitely will be wearing this autumn. I honestly love these autumnal fall pieces that I've created um, and I'm so excited to show you what they are and how they look like and hopefully inspire you to create your own autumnal fall pieces. So if you wanna see what they are, please stay tuned and continue watching till the end of the video. Please do subscribe if you wanna see more crochet content um, and yeah, let's just get straight into it. Number one, I have this really, really nice, it's kind of like this burgundy cardigan. The entire cardigan is double crochet stitch. Um, as you can see, I did try and kind of make the arms quite like baggy, flary, just to kind of give it that nice fit. It's, and from what we, we can't even speak English today, like, what is going on but um again it's a nice size it's not too long not too short um and one thing that i really love i just love the little details i think that's what just really gets me really excited um one thing i really really love about this cardigan is how it's such a nice statement piece like and it i feel like it'll be such a nice staple for your autumnal fall wardrobe just because you can always wear something nice underneath you can wear like a nice pattern top you can wear something literally plain but with this on top it's just so nice so you could either have it as like the main statement piece you can have it just to throw on really really love this button uh, that i've added this is how it looks like and it's just so so pretty i just really like how i did like a few rows of single crochets just to kind of really give that structure to the cardigan um and yeah i i love it a lot um and again you can see on the screen what this looks like when it's on but again you know you could pair it with a black skirt you could pair it with some like dark brown trousers and keeping that fall vibe um but yeah i just think it's so so perfect and such an easy um piece to make for fall my next piece that i really really love for um autumn this is another really really nice piece that i created again another cardigan now with me i absolutely love cardigans like i just I have an obsession, like I think I have so many cardigans, not ones that I've just bought from the shops, but also I made myself with crochet. But this one, again, it's your classic easy hexagon cardigan, which I just love them. I just think they're so easy to make and they work up so well. So this is the one that I created. Um, again, I have like the kind of burgundy colour again, but incorporated with black. Um, I absolutely love this and one thing that I really do like as well, um, different to my other cardigan that I just showed you, is I kind of cinched in the sleeves um, just to kind of create that nice shape. Um, usually I'm more of like a wide arm, wide kind of flare arm girly but um, I did want to try something different so I've cinched it out um, here and I really really do like it. I think it looks so so good. Um, and just the colours, I think they work so well together. And so perfect for autumn. I just think it's such a good piece. Again, you can style it with a black top underneath, obviously. Um, you can wear like a nice black skirt. There's so much you can do to style this up. Um, for this one, I didn't add a button, but I'm not gonna lie, I am really tempted to add one. I just think it really ties the, um, the whole cardigan together but you know even without a button i think it looks really really good and that's how the back looks like again this is a granny square stitch so clusters of three um and yeah i really really love it and i just think it's so perfect for this time of year this is my next piece now i'm smiling ear to ear because honestly i love this piece so much okay i'm just gonna show you because I'm, i am getting too excited but this is oh my god i love it so much this is my I can't even speak. This is my chunky sweater, jumper, whatever you want to call it, that I created. I really love the combination of colours. Um, again, I chose like this orange and this chocolate brown colour. Um, and I really wanted to create like a nice stripy jumper because I don't think I have anything stripy in my wardrobe. So I was like, oh, let's try something different. So this is how it looks like. Um, again, very nice and kind of like baggy, oversized. You know by now that that's just literally all I love. The entire sweater jumper is in double crochet stitch. Um, but because the yarn is quite thick and chunky, you know, you can't really see any holes and it looks pretty much tight. And these are the arms. I did add a cuff. And I'm not going to lie to you, this was a really big struggle for me. I just couldn't... I just was struggling with the whole kind of um, 
I forgot what this is called. The ribbing, duh. Um, I was struggling with the ribbing. I think that's like what I found really, really difficult. Again, I think it was my first time actually attempting to do ribbing and I just kept messing it up. It would just keep going wonky and I was struggling a lot with it. But I somehow mastered it after like 10,000 attempts and I absolutely love it. It just ties it in and it just gives it that very like polished finished complete look it definitely took a long time um because again it's like different pieces you've got the front panel you've got the back panel you've got the arms um but i love it so much and then again at the bottom to finish it off i added some ribbing as well there but yeah so perfect for this time of year um you know september october november december you know um it's definitely so so perfect for autumn usually i style these with jeans like some nice baggy jeans just to kind of give it that look um but again whatever you style it with i'm sure it will turn out and look so so good so this is my last piece so this is such oh it's such a favorite piece of mine and i actually made this like a very long time ago i just feel like i put in a lot of effort in this one and uh, let me just show you like i feel like i'm just talking too much like just show the piece like come on now get into it so this is my favorite girly granny square cardigan. Uh, why do I keep saying cardigan? I think I've made so many cardigans that I'm just keep saying cardigan. Like, girl, this is a sweater. This is a jumper. Like, come on. But yeah, this is my granny square top sweater that I've made. I absolutely love it so much. I just love the colors and the combination. Um, and honestly, it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. Um, so again, obviously they are all made up of granny square, the entire cardigan. And for the neckline, I went and did a few rows of double crochet in like different colors. Um, and then the arms I love. So again, very nice and you know, baggy. Um, and then I ended it up with a nice little cuff here just to kind of cinch in the arm. Um, the colors are just stunning. I know with the actual main center of the granny squares, um, I used a ombre yarn. So it was a multi-color yarn, obviously, so I didn't have to do that many color changes, although it literally looks like it. And then obviously used black for the um, border. And as the last row of each granny square, um, usually I pair this with a skirt, um but again you can wear really nice trousers with this and i'm so tempted to go ahead and make more of these i think this is the only granny square clothing item i have which is shocking but i i just really want to get back into making more of these kind of style granny square tops because they're just so pretty we are obsessed yeah definitely one of my favorite pieces um and i am so excited to run this more often so yeah guys that is the end of my video i really hoped you enjoyed kind of seeing my favorite autumnal pieces i really really love those pieces and i think they're just so perfect for this time of year um and i'm definitely going to be wearing them because i've been waiting for, i've been waiting to wear these i have been waiting they have been stocked up you know waiting for me or waiting for the season to come and it is now here for me to wear all of this stuff yeah i hope you enjoyed and let me know which one of your pieces was your favorite because i'd love to know um and i'll see you guys in the next one bye